today our topic is the governance body of the PBA. Hi, my name is Diana Marie Collins and I'm from Pittston, which is located in Luzerne County, Pennsylvania. I graduated from Pace Law School in White Plains, New York and New York University. I practice employment law and I teach at the University of Scranton and Luzerne County Community College. And I'm Rachel Hadrick. I'm a graduate of Lebanon Valley College and Widener Commonwealth Law School. I currently practice in Harrisburg, Dauphin County, Pennsylvania at the law firm McNeese Wallace and Nurick in their litigation and automotive dealership practice groups. So Rachel, why is the governance structure of the PBA so important? Well, the PBA is the largest voice for Pennsylvania attorneys. And this organization is not just a social or professional development organization, but it actually makes policy. So certain members of the PBA can vote on whether the PBA officially supports current and pending leg legislation in Pennsylvania, which affects you not just as a member, but also your clients as well. So at one of the last meetings, there was a significant amount of debate over whether um, a diversity CLE should be required for, P for PA attorneys. Um, ultimately, the vote passed, but if you're not involved in the PBA, you have no way to advocate for or against a certain provision, and you don't have the chance to impact the outcome that will affect you and possibly your clients. So, Diana, can you tell me about the governing bodies for the PBA? Well, the PBA is comprised of two governing bodies, the Board of Governors and the House of Delegates. The Board of Governors is the entity that manages and carries out the PBA policies. It drafts and approves the PBA budget. It makes recommendations to the House of Delegates on specific issues. The Board of Governors determines the PBA's position on public issues and litigation. And it also is authorized to enter into contracts on behalf of the PBA. Now the House of Delegates actually sets the policy of the PBA. It has the authority to determine the qualifications of its own members and controls membership dues. Membership in the House of Delegates is divided into two groups. You have voting and non-voting members. So how do you become a governor on the Board of Governors? Well, there are certain types and categories of governors. Um, first, there are the PBA officers, so the president, the president-elect, the vice president, the chair, the secretary, and treasurer. Then you have the immediate past president. You have three representatives from the Young Lawyers Division. You have a zone governor from each of the 12 zones in Pennsylvania, two minority governors, one woman governor, and one unit county governor. So I'm in zone three. How does one become a delegate for your zone in the PBA? Well, I'm from Luzerne County, which is located in Zone 5. Zone 5 also encompasses eight other counties in northeastern Pennsylvania, including Lackawanna, Monroe, Wayne, Pike, Wyoming, Susquehanna, Bradford, and Sullivan. I was a member of the House of Delegates because I was asked by our zone governor when I served as the president of our local Young Lawyers Division. Being a representative to the House of Delegates was really one of my favorite and most important roles that I've had in the PBA. I went to law school originally because I was really wanting to learn how to become an agent of change for our society. And I was always interested in government and policy. So the House of Delegates was really the place where I felt that my voice could be heard and I could represent the views that are important to other young lawyers in our Zone 5. So, Rachel, can you tell us how often does the House of Delegates meet? So the House of Delegates meets twice a year, once in the fall and once in the spring. Now in the spring, it's the annual meeting, so um, there are festivities and ceremonies to, it, to celebrate our new leadership for the PBA. So that goes along with our House of Delegates meetings. And if you have any additional questions about the governance of the PBA, please be sure to check out the PBA website. There are is information about each of the topics we covered today and you can find out more information that way. Thank you. Thank you.